it's me with the meat pie and kombucha the money african meat pie always help if i girl i swear i love you anything i can do for you yeah you are the only one for me if i'm born i swear i love ya i can't do without ya i said baby you are the one for me yo yo <laughs> yo <laughs> You already know what it is. It's your girl Nefertiti, the content queen, and I am back with another video. Y'all, I got an honest review, a movie review for y'all today. The review of the movie that I watched yesterday, The Breaking of the Bush by Frank Artis. It is a new Liberian movie now on YouTube. Um... And we're gonna get into it, y'all. Like, we're gonna get into it. This is my own opinion, my honest review on this Liberian movie. I urge all of you guys to go ahead and watch it and share your thoughts as well on this movie. So, thank you guys for coming in and joining me on my channel. Today, we are getting into this movie review and let's get into it so basically breaking of the bush by frank Artis is a liberian movie that is now on youtube it has three parts guys so yes last night i watched a three-part movie the first part basically was only like 30 minutes or so long and you kind of get the backstory on this guy named wea la jo wea <laughs> his name is wea um, and Wea is a hardworking father that takes his daughter to and from school on a bicycle. Y'all, I thought like the storytelling in this movie was very, very good. The way they wrote the story makes you want to continue watching the movie, which in my opinion, I really enjoyed. So... My first impression on the movie when I'm watching it is the video quality is good. It's not the best because it's not a super large production, but for it being a Liberian movie, the quality in my opinion was good. Um, the only thing that kind of struck a little like, hmm, maybe this could be something they can improve on for the next production or the next film is the music, the soundtrack. So in the first part of the movie, I guess it's trying to take us on the journey on, the journey of Wea and his day-to-day -day life and how he's on his way to take his daughter to school. Um, and then he goes to work and how he's facing different um, obstacles. I didn't really like the soundtrack in the beginning. Um, I think they could have tried to use a different soundtrack i understand they were working with a certain budget but um maybe for future purposes working with producers liberian producers specifically um liberian um, individuals that have like sound engineering degrees so that they can um assist with producing a better soundtrack a stronger more um impactful soundtrack as far as the first part goes so this is not talking about the second or the third part this is just for the first part of the movie soundtrack uh, um as we get into the movie now let's go into the second part i thought um the storyline of him and his daughter and how his daughter's excelling in school was great to my knowledge right as a liberian american um Kolokwa is our own English, right? So I was hoping to hear Mokoloqua, in my opinion. Like, you can hear the Liberian English here and there, but it seemed very um, queer, in my opinion. I don't know, it's just my opinion, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I guess they were trying to do the Liberian English in a way that other nations could understand what we're saying and not try to... Um, confuse them but in some parts of the movie 
specifically speaking, the first and the second part, like the interactions between the father and the daughter, the English, the Liberian English sounded almost Ghanaian and Nigerian in a way. I don't know. It just didn't sound really like raw Liberian English. But the part where like Wea and his friend was at the Kobo shop, that Liberian English and interaction was Koloqua. You can hear the Koloqua. Also, another thing, the subtitles were off. So some of the subtitles didn't match. Not that it didn't match what they were saying. In my opinion, it didn't make sense, the subtitles. So I think they just need to work on the subtitles. So two things they needed to work on was the subtitles and the soundtrack. Just my opinion, guys. Just my opinion. Don't go through the messenger. Um, this is just my review. Now, the third part is the longest part, I believe. Because... In the second part, basically the daughter and the father have a little like dispute and she really wants to go see her grandmother in the village. Dad is not happy about that. Like, he's like, no, I don't want you to go there. So we get to the reason why he didn't want his daughter to go to the bush in the first place. And y'all, when I say that girl should just listen to her father, she should have just listened to her father. Why she ain't listen to her father, I don't know. Because the way I was at the edge of my seat, at that third in the third part i was like nah ain't no way you brought your daughter all the way to the bush for this stuff to go down one thing i would say though is that the cultural depiction and the display of liberian tradition with the sunny bush and the vibe people loved it okay as a basa woman like at one part i thought they were speaking basa but they were speaking vi and I think Va people and Basa people have similarities in a way. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I thought that part was really, really beautiful. Like the, the overall picture, the overall display and representation for Liberian traditions. This does not speak for all Liberian traditions, but this is like one. Yeah, this is like one POV in Liberian history, right? Which is the Va people and the Sani Bush. Um, that part I think was really explained, described and shown very well in my opinion. So that production was really, really good. Um, in the third part, y'all, we learned that we get the plot twist of this whole story. So basically, from the beginning of the movie, we just thinking we are is some poor man that can't afford to pay his daughter's school fees and he just works hard all day, every day. We find out that Wea's wife died during childbirth, childbirth, but you learned why in the third part. You learn why she died during childbirth and you also learn why the man turned out to be poor and he was living the way he was living. When I tell you that plot twist had me jumping, <laughs> I literally was jumping, guys, because I was like, you joking. You gotta be kidding me. Like, nah, ain't no way. But let me tell y'all, y'all gotta watch the movie because if I say too much here on this review, y'all gonna, like, not watch the movie. Y'all gotta go ahead and watch the movie, get their likes up, get their views up so that they can produce larger productions. I don't know. The movie for me still gives a 10 out of 10, but I will also say, so I had um, three overall um, things they can improve on. One was the soundtrack in the, in the first part and the second part of the movie. Um, two, the English, the Liberian English. I would like to hear more Liberian colloquia in my opinion. Um, not, it doesn't need to always be civilized colloquia. Like colloquia is our culture. That's we're Liberian people. We speak Koloqua. But I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't given raw Koloqua, in my opinion. It was given, like, kui, bougie, like, you know, I don't know. I guess civilized. Whatever. Um, and then the, what's it called? The costume. The costume design, the overall styling. No. That gets a 0 out of 10 for me. 0 out of 10. No. <laughs> And I'm specifically speaking about the third part of the movie. From the beauty, the hair, 
and the fashion they decided to choose for that third part of the movie is a no for me. As as far as not okay, so let me be clear, guys. Not the Sunny Bush part. Not when they go into the village. I'm not talking about that part. I'm talking about when they are doing the going back in time now, showcasing how we are started before he became poor. If you watch the movie, you will know what I'm talking about. That part specifically, like basically like present day, it's supposed to be present day, right? For we are, but past tense present day for him. Like, <laughs> am I making sense? Anyways, it's supposed to be modern day dressing. No. I didn't like his shirt open with a cross chin. I didn't like the girl's hair. I didn't like the makeup. I didn't like the girl's hair. I didn't like the girl's makeup. I didn't like um, Frank Wea, his dressing. I think one thing I would love for Liberian people to do. So me too. Let me let me just explain um, something here. I have not really been involved or in tune with Liberian entertainment industry, pop culture, celebrity culture. So please forgive me, guys. So when I saw that this new Liberian movie came out, I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and support my Liberian people because we don't have a huge entertainment industry already. So let me see what it's giving and see how I can add my own, you know, two cents to it. <laughs> I added my own two cents and I'm also giving constructive criticism. But overall, I, I still say the movie gets 10 out of 10 because I love the story. And that's one thing that gets me with African movies is that even if it is low budget or even if dressing and all these things may be off, the storyline be A1. American movies don't give it up like the storylines in Africa. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Um, the storyline just be juicy. And it just, it's like, it has you hooked in as a watcher, as a viewer. It's like, yeah, y'all did that. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give y'all your props. Y'all did that. Um, I think the whole entire movie is so beautifully done. We are we are See, now I'm doing it like, basa, we are But we are we are we are child please forgive me um her pov like <laughs> could never been me i just you know i started to do some self-reflection like a lot of our mothers and mother's mother they they all had to go through if they grew up back home they had to had probably some type of encounter or experience with those traditional aspects at one point in time in their life. And I commend Wiyade's, um acting. She's such a beautiful girl. Let's get into it. Wiyade is such a beautiful character. The display of Liberian beauty, number one, is unmatched. Liberian beauty, like raw, natural Liberian beauty, just is top tier, okay? Let's get into it. Top tier, baby. They are beautiful. Okay, so I think the part that was giving getting me upset was in the third part when it was doing like, you know, that ceremony or whatever. I didn't like the makeup they was doing. But if we go back to the village where the vow with my, um, my jatu had her eyeliner and her lip liner on, I said, well, it's giving one full out princess. <laughs> it was giving African beauty. Like, yeah, I like that. I just thought that was so beautiful. Like the traditional makeup, the traditional outfits. Those were so beautiful. But when we talk about the modern day now, like we in present day, I don't like those too much. Like the blazer, the African print blazer with an open shirt, the dressing with a trim, the makeup, the hair. I don't know. It was not given. If y'all want some styling advice or want me to join your production as a stylist, come on, call, call your girl. It's like, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, guys, I give you guys a round of applause for this production. Um, this is also the beginning of more brilliant films to come with, come out from the Liberian entertainment industry. And if y'all have any Liberian movies that y'all would like me to watch and review, please comment them below. I would love to do so. Um, I think one thing that I love is the representation because me growing up in America, we always see Nollywood, Lollywood, 
um, Ghana movies, we see all these other African nations thriving and prospering in their entertainment industry. And I would just love to see that more from our own Liberian people as far as film and production goes. Um, and film and production is not only just the videographer, it's the whole team behind the scenes, right? It's not just the videographer and the actor and the actresses. Your hair, your makeup, your hairstylist, your fashion designers, your um, sound engineers. Like, there's so much that goes into a film as far as production goes. And for it just being, like, the first movie of 2024 that I've seen from the Liberian entertainment industry, I give it a round of applause, guys. Um... What else did I wanted to share with you guys from that movie that I loved? Okay, first off, y'all can't leave me. No, there's no way y'all left me at that part three like that. Great ending, but no, I got to see more. Okay, so this is, this is where I'm at with it. Like, I want to see more. If there is a part four, when is part four coming out? Or maybe there's not going to be a part four and we're just going to end it right there. Ain't no way we just ended it right there. I'm sorry, ain't no way. I cannot, I cannot leave off there like that. You people gotta, you people gotta bring powerful five, six. Why, why African movies do that though? Why can't we just do a one hour movie? Why we gotta do part one, part two, part three, part four? Another thing, hey. Okay, okay, another thing. I don't know if it's just African movies that do this, but the logo slash watermark on the film itself. Can you guys correct me if I'm wrong? Does that need to be there? Like, is that is there a reason why that's there? The logo being in the center of the movie. Like, while I'm watching the movie, I just see Frank Artist TV. Is it because y'all don't want people to buy it? I mean, sell it, like resell it? Or is there a way to have that logo displayed in the bottom right-hand corner? Hello? Hi? If you guys can give me some suggestions on that or basically, like, enlighten me because I personally didn't like that the overall quality of the production I give it a 10 out of 10 because I think it was really really good but what I'm trying to say is that for future movies do we need that in the middle of the screen I don't think so um I don't know when they started production either they could have started production two three years ago and just released it today um uh, last week I mean so if that's the case then for like productions being done now i don't think we need um what's to call it i don't think we need logos the watermark to be in the center of the film the watermark can be either in the top right hand corner or the bottom right hand corner or the bottom left hand corner um in my opinion so that we can watch a movie without seeing that watermark because it was two actually two watermarks one logo was here and it wasn't a vector logo or transparent background logo that was just right here at the top right corner with the white box and there was a logo in the middle of the movie they tried to make it transparent in some parts but you could still see the outline of the box so that's just my suggestion that you guys either make it a transparent logo and put it in the bottom right hand corner or just don't put it there at all in the center in my opinion i don't think it needs to be there but again, because it's going on YouTube and it's not like for sale, I can see why you guys did that. Um, let us know how we can support y'all for more movies, guys. Please, Frank Artist TV and team, let us know. Let us know. Let us know what we need to do to support. I am so here for it. I love it. Um, keep up the good work. Yeah, keep up the amazing work, guys. Like and if you haven't watched it, I'll link it in the bottom. I'll link it in my description box so y'all can go ahead and click it and watch it. It is called Breaking of the Bush by Frank Artis. Um, forgive me if I don't know the rest of the people's name. It's just Frank Artis. His name was everywhere. And his name was throughout the entire <laughs> movie. And Frank Artis is the main character in the movie, by the way. So, <laughs> um, yeah, great movie, guys. Watch it. Go watch it. Go watch it and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's your girl Nefertiti. And stay tuned for more content from me, the content queen. I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all. Bye. I swear, it's in my mind to do it up. You, you fine and your body's out of butter.
that only you I take him to the altar Baby, oh, baby, oh I swear to my mind to take water Boy, you bad and you make me nullin' butter That only you I take him to my papa Baby, oh, baby, oh My computer, no 